let's jump straight in. This time I'm not recording the, uh, the voiceover live. I'm doing that afterwards because uh, I was focused more on just catting efficiently. Here, there's a much better way to do this slot that I should have thought of earlier. It saves a second or so on average than the way that I was doing it. Um, oops, I misselected some extrusions, but you know, not too bad. Um, I'm doing the, the old tilde to select other, uh, and then some, some fillets, uh, some more fillets. And the reason that I'm doing it in two separate box selections rather than one large one is that it, um, I don't know, it seems more consistent. I don't accidentally select the edge line. Here for the, the feature pattern, uh, you can box you can actually box select the edges and it selects the the, you know, the two fillets and the extrusion because so those are the only things or the sections of the feature that are fully encompassed which I thought was pretty cool pretty neat uh, this time I'm actually doing the chamfer correctly so, so that's good uh, it's just assigned materials um, and I made a custom parts library that just has the aluminum and a seal so saves a little bit of time there uh, loads faster and then there's fewer materials here I just create the old mate connector. Um, this time I'm doing it in the same part studio, so that's a little bit faster. Um, then I switch over to the flexible coupler. Here I'm basically following, I think, the exact same thing that I did in the first video, just a little bit more efficiently. Um, yeah, again, here we don't need to dimension the other side of that rectangle because it's really only the, the one side that matters. We're using the circle as the, um, I don't know, dimension for the outside. We do some fillets. Uh, box select here, and we can actually get with tangent, like the automatic tangent connectedness, it's going to select all the edges around there, which is nice. Here, um, the way that I'm extruding them to both sides is I press tab space to, to select the um, symmetric extrusion, and so that's why it goes out in both directions. Um, there I use the tilde trick again to select other, then just do a circular pattern with, with parts this time, set a, set a material. And then here, the whole thing with snap mode, right? I press Shift S, you see that little blue light that showed up in the top? Um, and that lets me instantly create mates as I insert parts. It's the same thing that happens with standard content, like there and here. The parts just automatically create mates. So this wasn't my fastest, but still reasonably good. 